Hello friends, welcome on board. Today's video is about cargo and when we talk about cargo then cargo is the most important thing on a ship because full industry, these ports, logistics, stores, spares, everything exists because ships carry cargo and cargo on freight and it is the freight from which you know everybody is paid loading a ship is not just operation where you you know open your drop lines and cargo flows into the tank there are many other systems associated with loading of cargo and discharging of cargo now we will see each system one by one how it works but before understanding loading cargo or discharging cargo you need to understand the basic layout of the ship so this is suppose a plan view of the ship you have a center line bulkhead and you have these tanks here these are cargo tanks suppose one port one starboard two port two starboard three port three starboard and so on and for guys who don't know when we are facing ahead when we are looking ahead of the ship the side to the left is port side and side to the right is starboard side now we have these cargo tanks but around these cargo tanks we have ballast tanks as well so actual design of the ship is something like this so these are here you have a four peak tank then here you have one port water ballast so on two port three port similarly on this side three starboard two starboard one starboard so basically all these cargo tanks are protected all around by water ballast tanks so this design for the ship is done so that in case there is a rupture in case we have a collision with another ship and it makes some damage here then the cargo should not go into the sea the damage will be onto the ballast tanks and probably we will lose some ballast so if we look at the end on view say i am looking at the ship from the stern then my ship will look something like this this is your main deck so this here is a water ballast tank and water ballast tank basically it will go all the way up to center line of the ship and covering from the sides and this will be your cargo tank cargo tank Okay, here we need to understand that when the ship is loading at the same time we are de-ballasting that is removing water we cannot have cargo filling as well as water filling in the tanks in if we do that then we will load the ship much more than required and her draft will cross draft which is allowed always when we are loading we are de-ballasting at the same time and similarly when we are discharging at the same time we are filling our water ballast tanks that is the procedure is called ballasting when we are loading we are also venting if you guys can imagine there is a tank and we have a we are filling cargo then the atmosphere inside the tank needs to come out in order to give place to the cargo so at the same time we have to do de-ballasting as well as venting and now these venting is done by using our pv valves these are the valves which open at a set pressure automatically similarly when we are doing discharging we are emptying the tank fill atmosphere and that is done by ig system ig system is inerting now this inert gas has an oxygen content requirement is less than 8% but normally we bring it to 6% 7% it's a control room and we will see each system one by one system let's see is the ballast system ballast systems have two pumps one pump is here and one pump is here pump controls are on the framo panel which we will see a little later and these are all the tanks we have six wings tanks from one port one starboard to two three four five six port and starboard tanks apart from this we also have a four peak tank and an after peak tank so these red and green what you see are the valves these are hydraulic valves these are hydraulic valves and when you press the red button the valve closes and when you press the green button the valve opens 
apart from these hydraulic valves these indicators you see here they are manual valves to be opened from deck here it's only a indication nothing more than that we also have these gauges which show balance pump suction and discharge pressures cargo system so similarly like ballast we have cargo tanks from 1 to 6 wings and slopping tanks 14 tanks 1 to 6 wings length followed by two slopping tanks so for one tank let's see closely what we have these are the controls on the tank this is the pump control which is on the separate panel from our system and this valve is a throttling valve which is an hydraulic valve and these are the manual valves this has a discharge valve as well as the drop valve this system is on all the tanks this what you are seeing right now is the manifold manifold has seven manifolds and all manifolds can be connected to each other using crossovers and all these valves are manual valves to be operated on deck here what you see they are just the indicators so little while ago what i was talking about the pump controls for ballast pumps is here port water ballast pump port water ballast starboard tank cleaning pump this is a, another smaller tank we have 100 cubics about capacity rot tank and then these are your 14 tanks so all duty officer has to do to run these pumps is press this button and push this lever and lever will give you a pressure next to it so if you want to run the pump at maximum speed you need to put this lever right ahead we have some other systems as well for example we have a high level alarm this alarm is set so that when we are loading we do not overfill the tank and this alarm is set at 95% level as well as 98% level 95% is high level alarm and 98% is overfill alarm so these are the controls and when the tank is filling and when it cross this level this indicate a visual and audible alarms here and then we have gas monitoring system we have this system to ensure that there is no leakage from cargo into the ballast tanks and when we are loaded with cargo obviously my ballast tanks are empty and th that is the time these gas monitoring systems are operating in the ballast tanks so in case there is any ingress of cargo any hydrocarbon or any gases then this system will give me an alarm which ensures that my ship's tanks are intact so now we will see this system gas monitoring system here it is so chief officer selects the tanks which are empty tanks which have ballast they are offline because otherwise the system will suck some water and there will be problem for the sensors this one is a gas sampling system which gives you alarm as soon as there is any gas detected in the void spaces or water ballast tank this valve control system for loading discharging we have lot of pipelines for tank cleaning we have separate pipelines for steam we have separate light pipelines for stripping of tank that is when the tanks level are low and we have to take discharge very little cargo for that we have some smaller lines fitted at the bottom of the pipe piping system all these lines have valves on it so some valves are manual valves which needs to be opened on deck and some are hydraulic operated valves which can which duty officer or chief officer can just press a button in the ccr and we can operate the valves another system which we have is tank radar gauge because cargo tanks level are very critical and we need exactly exact levels of cargo tank especially while topping off when we are about to finalize the quantity of we have the tank radar gauge these are basically radar gauges fitted on each tank and these radar gauges readings are compared with manual uti manual gauges and ensure that they are correct all the time the system which gives you level of all the tanks and duty officer can select and toggle between water ballast tank cargo tanks and fuel tank whichever tanks he wants and at any given time he can see entire ships level pressure temperature all the details along with the draft and trim and list 
and a repeater of this screen is also installed on the bridge so even while at sea the duty officer can monitor these tanks last but not the least is the loadicator somebody asked me to tell him about stability so this is a loadicator is a software which is classed up class approved software we plan cargo operations in stage wise two hourly four hourly six hourly stages and each stages we exactly know how much cargo and how much ballast needs to be on board if we are loading we know at what rate we have to load and accordingly at what rate we have to discharge ballast is the ship stability is calculated on the loadicator the class approved loadicator which has all the tanks on it you can toggle between the menus and it calculates it gives you a plan view end on view and side view of the ships along with all these details displacement at weight how much cargo how much ballast fuel tank other tanks and other stability and stresses on the ship the equipments given here are obviously the telephone and the vhf which is used in port for communication with the shore people bon voyage happy sailings jai hind